All right, let's go. What is a food chain? Food chains are about energy and the transfer of energy. Animals are linked together by food energy. And a food chain shows us how these organisms or animals are linked together or connected by the transfer of food energy. Some animals eat plants. Some animals eat other animals. A food chain shows the transfer of food energy from producer through consumers. A food chain shows the flow of that energy. It starts with a producer food source and follows the energy as it's passed on through one or maybe even more consumers. I bet this will make more sense if we actually draw a food chain. Let's draw a food chain for a giraffe. That means the first source of air energy is going to be the sun. The sun will send its energy to an acacia plant. In this case, that's what a giraffe likes to eat. And the arrow shows the energy went from the sun to the acacia plant. And then to the, no, not a T-Rex, to the giraffe. The arrow shows that energy from the acacia plant went to the giraffe. So the energy flowed from sun to acacia plant to giraffe. A giraffe's a plant eater, an herbivore, so it gets its energy directly from a producer. But even carnivores, meat eaters, get some of their energy from producers because plant eaters would be part of their food chain. Oh my goodness, no T-Rex. Let's look at a food chain for a hawk. Nice try T-Rex, but sorry. So the initial source of energy, as in any food chain, would start with the sun. The sun's energy would be transferred to the grass, would flow to the grass, and the arrow shows the transfer of energy. From sun, it shows the, sun, the, shows the energy went from sun to grass. And then grass energy goes to the grasshopper. Grasshopper energy flows to the frog when it's eaten by the frog. The frog's food energy transfers to the snake when it's eaten by the snake. And on the next page, the snake's energy would transfer to the hawk. Energy transferred from sun to producer through all those consumers until it reached the hawk. This food chain shows a hawk gets energy directly from the snake that it eats, but it also gets energy from what the snake ate and the rest of the food chain all the way back to the grass. Just because a hawk is a carnivore doesn't mean that it doesn't get energy from a producer. It depends on the energy from the producers because energy is transferred from producer through the consumers to the hawk. That means if there were no plants, there would be no plant eaters and no carnivores that eat the plant eaters. An animal depends on everything in its food chain. Now it's time for Ziggy's advice to animals. Here's my advice. Stick to your own food chain. I think I'll just keep on being an indoor bunny. Thank you very much. See you next time. I hope.